Is Gordon House the right person to deliver an anti-drunk driving message to school children? Spurred by a fresh DWI tragedy in his own life, the man who caused one of New Mexico's worst alcohol-fueled crashes wants to reach out to kids. But News 13's Alex Tomlin reports some people are not sure that's a good thing. A suspected drunk driver slammed into Ron Skolte and his fiance Tina Molner as they were leaving a Gallup church last Wednesday. The two were both wheelchair bound. Ron died. The couple were close friends of Gordon House. He had indicated he was a homeless child. And I told him in the native uh, sense that uh, we can adopt him. I'll adopt him as my brother. House caused the deaths of Melanie Cravens and her three daughters in 1992. He just finished serving 11 years in prison. This second devastating accident has renewed his mission to educate the public about drunk driving. We have substance abuse problems in the mid-schools, and if there's too much of law enforcement being there, then we're missing some people that have a little bit insight on the other side to work together. I think there's a greater chance of saving more lives. At least one victim's family thinks House could make a powerful impact. Paul Cravens is the only survivor of House's accident. He lost his wife and daughters. Cravens now lives in Colorado, where we showed him House's full interview. He was in prison and had 11 years to think about all the things he did wrong and things that could be done better. I think we sure ought to listen to, to people that have been there that they, they really can help us. I'm, I'm, I'm really encouraged. Craven says it may make an impact to students to have someone like House telling his story. Tell them, man, this is what you need to do to change your life and to, to think about what you're doing and to tell it to the, to the young people. I'd be really encouraged by seeing that happen. Al Foster is a youth specialist with Mothers Against Drunk Driving. He says the system isn't ready to have offenders in classrooms yet. Well, I think victims' families would resist that. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm not so sure that that's the right thing to do right now. Foster and House both agree engaging children as early as elementary school and parental involvement are key in stopping the next generation from drinking and driving. Craven says he thinks law enforcement needs more funding to combat the problem. Alex Tomlin, KRQE News 13. We also talked about this to Nadine Milford, Melanie Craven's mother and a longtime leader of the anti-DWI fight. She too supports the idea of having people who cause DWI crashes reaching out to school kids. But she says only if the offender is truly remorseful and if the victim's family approves.